Hello. Welcome, Jane Christopher. Oh, thank How you. How are you? <laughs> yeah, good, thank Look you. Look at that view. It's quite a spectacle, isn't it? Fantastic. Gosh. I'm a West Ham historian and author. Oh, I'm absolutely good. delighted to have the opportunity to give some perspective to your forebear, Charlie Bicknell. Yeah. So if, maybe if we take a seat, I can yeah. talk That's you through it. it. Yeah. No, I'd love to hear more. Generally speaking, uh, there are two West Ham captains that uh, are remembered a bit more than the rest. The first being Billy Bonds. Yeah. And then we have the icon of icons, Bobby Moore. Now, that two member club has a third member, and that is your ancestor, <laughs> Charlie. Charlie Bicknell. <laughs> and it's a lofty status, but it's deserving. Yes. Um, Charlie was captain in 1940 when West Ham won their first ever major trophy. Oh, is that the first time? They first won time it? they'd ever won anything. We went as underdogs, second division team, against the first division opposition, Blackburn Rovers. Blackburn, yes. I mean, this was a serious competition. They played nine games to get to the final and beat Chelsea along the way. Now, that team was full of characters, and it's a measure of Charlie's own character that he was captain. Um, and here's a photo of him oh, with wow. the cup at Wembley. Oh, my goodness. You I think he's, he's quite winner. handsome. The story goes, there was no fanfare, there was no open-top bus tour back no. to the East End <laughs> Street, sadly. Back to the Blitz. They, they got changed in the dressing room at Wembley, got on a coach, went back to Upton Park and had cheese sandwiches and a cup of tea. Oh, my gosh. That was the celebration. Times have, times have changed, haven't Indeed. they? Indeed. Yeah. And, I mean, this is a guy that lifted the first major trophy at West Ham. Yeah. You can't, you don't have to overstate his importance. Um, it's, a, it's a fine achievement. And this is Charlie being presented with oh the trophy. It is a big trophy. It's a beauty, isn't it? And he's the only guy to lift that trophy aloft. I love it, I absolutely love it. And I'm so delighted, Jane, that he is related to you so we can catapult him back into the West Ham consciousness yeah, and give him, give him the status that he deserves. My dad would have been so chuffed. Proud. And proud. He, I mean, he, never, he didn't express a lot, but I know underneath he would have been so proud to, that we had a uh, football legend in the family. I'm just proud to be associated with you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jane, there's a, an important element of this story that we haven't shared with you. Mm. The War Cup was used as a kind of replacement for the FA Cup as you know it. Yes. Because it was the yeah. wartime. Um, but we contacted the FA. They were so intrigued by the story that they... Uh, kindly loaned out the actual FA Cup <gasps> for you to see today and it's down... Are you kidding? No? Oh my goodness. That's amazing. It is amazing, isn't wow. it? Wow. Charlie would have been... He'll, he'll be smiling in his grave now. He will. <laughs> and rightly so. Yeah. I'm smiling. Lucky us. 